Hey everyone, it's Ed. Welcome to another Lessons from My Mentor episode. I'm coming to you from Avon, Colorado, one of my happy places. So I think I've recorded once from this vantage point previously. So this is one of my favorite places to get away to. So it's near Vail, if you're familiar with Colorado Rockies. So it's situated between, like you head up from Denver, up I-70, you hit a lot of ski resorts around Breckenridge area, and then you keep going, you get to Vail. You keep going not too much further, maybe 15 miles, you get to Avon. And it's kind of a smaller bedroom community. And then you can head on from there, obviously, up I-70, hit Grand Junction, over to Aspen, things like that, or go all the way across. And I don't know, what state to hit next. So this one is about, we've, we've done the last couple around assholes and around haters. And they're both sort of negative topics, although I try to keep it positive in terms of, hey, how can you deal with that in a positive way? But I wanted to do something a little bit more uplifting and that's the opposite, right? How do you love on people in the workplace? I'll never forget one, my first meeting with the executive over marketing at New York City Health and Hospitals. And I said something about loving on your people and it just took it back. And he was one of the greatest characters ever I, I love that man. Wow, we had some amazing times after that. That just bonded us because he had never heard anything like that before and certainly hadn't worked in environments, I guess, where there was sort of that love. And um, so anyways, I, I've always tried to walk, I shouldn't say always, for a long time I've tried to walk in that spirit. I don't do it real well because I've been the hater, I've been the ass, I've, I've, I've done a lot of things that I didn't want to do and not proud of. But I also have spent a fair amount of time just trying to love on people. And I just wanted to give some practical ways of doing that. One, and I think this is the one that gets people the most, is at some point they get to a level of success that they forgot where they came from. So never forget where you came from. So I always remember being a janitor. I remember being an anesthesia tech. I remember being, you know, a, a, a director and when you keep going up the ladder and you become an executive, you become a CIO, you sort of forget what it was like back then and how you were thinking and feeling and how you perceive those above you in those types of positions. And so I still remember, I, I still sometimes, you know, see myself as that janitor, you know, cleaning uh, in the lab and in the offices. And, and I think that's good grounding to keep you humble and to love on people and realize, hey, that was you at some point, or even as a director, that was you as a director. Remember what it was like. And, and so be that approachable person. So that's when, when I say love, it's the one thing is, don't forget where you came from and therefore be approachable, be human. So that's the second sort of thing is be human, like know your people get involved with your people, create opportunities for your people to spend time with you. So you're not this sort of enigma out there and unapproachable. And that creates love because when you run into people and you know your people and you know their struggles and what they're dealing with both in work and at home, it forces you, it brings that out in you, out of your soul, you know, that sort of desire to love and care. And so, that's number two. Number three is do whatever you can not to become calloused over time, right? We all become calloused, like whether you, whatever analogy you want to use, you could use a, a physical analogy of your heart and your arteries, you know, you got to keep those things clean and you do that by keeping good care of yourself. And so that's what you need to do is make sure that nothing, you know, over time gets built up. And to the point that you don't even realize it because it happens slowly, just like in your arteries with plaque, uh, but it happens. So do things that will help ensure that it doesn't happen and you don't get hardened. And so you always have that sense of love and care for others. And so I've shared before many different ways of doing this. It could be volunteering and, and actually working shifts in a clinical setting and seeing patients. But if you do the first two, you know, be humble, be approachable, don't forget where you came from. I think it's gonna keep your heart soft when you meet with your people all the time. I'm not just talking about, hey, once a month have breakfast with Ed. Those are, that's a good program if it's one of 10 different things that you're doing. So do more of that because again, that's what's gonna create love in the work workplace because you're gonna know everyone. And so even if you have 
hundreds and hundreds of employees or over a thousand employees, I still think you could know everyone and create these opportunities. Again, it's not just one program. It's not one picnic, but it's doing a lot of these different things. And I, I think that just cultivates the love because, and they also, it goes the other way. They also see you as human. Oh, you're struggling too. Oh, you're dealing, you know, how to lose weight or whatever your struggle might be. Or you got, you know, just some mental clarity, whatever it is, be human. And it just creates this, this love. And there'll be less, there'll always be haters and asses, but there'll be less, at least in the areas that you touch. So love on people, just put yourself out there and be real. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Lessons from My Mentors.